Hello, my name is Simon Schur, and welcome to my axe kick tutorial. The axe kick isn't a super complicated kick. Basically, you lift your leg up as high as you can, and you pull it down on top of your target. You can hit with any one of two parts of the foot, the nub of the heel or the ball of the foot, depending on how much damage and injury you want to cause on your target or opponent. The axe kick is useful in slowing your opponent up if they're coming at you, or if your opponent is maintaining the ground and has the weight on their back leg, you can bring it down and strike the collarbone or nose. To begin understanding the axe kick, think of doing half a crescent kick and then pulling the leg down with the hamstring muscles and gluteus muscles as hard as you can. You can do either an outside crescent kick or an inside crescent kick into your axe kick. Whichever one you choose depends on the path between you and your target. If there's an obstacle to the outside, you can do an inside uh, arc into your axe kick and vice versa. Before you start doing the axe kick, it's important to get your flexibility up to par so that you can pull your leg up high enough to bring it down on your target without uh, pulling a muscle or ripping a ligament. Some of the best stretches are if you lay down on the floor with your legs extended out in front of you and reach towards your toes. Kneel down, extend your front leg out in front of you, put one hand on either side of it, and slide your entire body forward, leaving the back knee and foot where they are relative to your body. This is the front split. A good dynamic stretch for the axe kick is a leg lifting stretch. Make a front stance, lift your leg up as high as you can, and bring it down. In the axe kick, it's a very bad idea to go up on your tiptoes. You're already pulling downward to develop power in a kick. And this is a position where it's very hard to counter the force if your opponent pushes against the kick. So when you throw an axe kick, it's important to have as strong a foundation as possible. Don't go on your tiptoes when you do this. If you're all stretched out, it's important to develop the muscles to lift the axe kick, as well as the muscles to pull it down. I like to use a bar to help me with these exercises. I hold onto a bar, keeping my standing foot flat, I put my outside leg on the bar, pulling my upper body forwards towards that leg. Then, keeping the leg completely straight, I'm going to lift it above the bar as high as I can, hold it for a few seconds, and then bring it back down. I'll do this 5 or 15 times. Now I'm going to lift my leg above the bar, hold it, then move it away from the bar, pull it down without touching the floor, bring it back up, and place it back on the bar. Do this several times. This will help develop the muscles in the leg and the control necessary to use the kick effectively. Now make a front stance with uh, one hand grabbing the bar and the other hand facing the opposite direction. Put as little, a li as little weight as possible on the bar. Make sure the other hand is by your face. Lift the leg up, throw an axe kick, or throw a leg lifting kick, then pull it down to an axe kick, then pull it back up and repeat the kick over and over again without touching the floor ten times in a row. Then do the same thing on the other leg. Make sure you don't let your foot touch the floor when you bring it down. A great way to develop the strength for the axe kick is you line your stomach with your legs straight up behind you and your arms out in front of you. Pick up one leg at a time, squeezing the gluteus muscle as you pick the straight leg up while lying on your stomach. This conditions that muscle that jerks the leg down uh, into the axe kick position. Now step away from the bar and come to the center of the room. Let's practice the kick. Make a front stance with your hands up. Like I said earlier, never go on your tiptoes when you're doing this kick. Also, never drop your hands when you're doing an axe kick. You want to keep your hands up by your face. Now, there are several variations of the axe kick that are important to practice. There's a lead leg axe kick, a turning axe kick, and a spinning axe kick. Once you've got these variations down and you've practiced them with your hands up and your standing leg flat on the floor looking towards your target, there's a couple of precautions you need to take. Mostly, when you bring the leg down, don't stomp it on the floor in front of you. This will jut your upper body forward presenting your face and chest as a prime target for your opponent. After you've done the center axe kick, it's important to try a traveling axe kick. Moving across the room in a sprint motion, or line drills, you could do a turning axe kick, a step behind or step together axe kick, and a spinning axe kick. One of the more difficult variations that require a lot of core strength is a sliding axe kick. Try to do this one and have fun with it. Another really cool drill you can do is a 360 degree axe kick. Now you can work this just like the 360 degree round kick. You pick your back foot up and spin around backwards 180 degrees, jump up and bring your left leg forwards in an inward arc, pulling it down into an axe position. You can do a 360 axe kick the same way you do a 360 spin side kick. Bring your back leg forward 180 degrees, Take off, off your, rear, your new rear foot, the one that was your front foot, bring that leg around, and axe kick down in front of you. 
One of the easiest ways to think about the 360 axe kick is start with a jump spinning crescent kick. Let that crescent kick pull the other leg around into an axe kick, almost like a tornado kick. It's fun, not particularly useful in a sparring match unless you really have your partner moving backwards uh, away from you. Spinning around that way can leave you pretty vulnerable if they jam you. It's very important to practice your axe kick, lead leg turning and spin on a focus paddle. This will give you a target and it'll uh, help you get that snap into the kick that's important for giving it power. You need to snap it down fast. If you have a puller, a great method is to put your foot in the puller into a front kick position. Uh, make sure there's some support nearby in case you lose your balance and pull the leg up as high as you can to a nice stretched out position. Once you're there, either grab onto something or just use your muscles and your core strength and pull the leg down against your hands holding onto the rope. And try to pull your leg down while resisting them with your hands. Kind of like a, an isometric uh, resistance training, uh, strengthening for the axe kick. Great way to work on the aim and the targeting of your axe kick so you can get it to land exactly where you want. Uh, other than with the, pa the speed paddle is you take a, a bat, I made this one out of a pool noodle PVC pipe and duct tape, and stick it in the top of your punching bag, the punching bag holes. And then you practice axe kicking right on the tip of that. Another great uh, drill to do is if you take a bunch of uh, Nerf darts or rolled up paper and you tape it to a punching bag, you can practice axe kicking each of those darts off, trying not to touch the punching bag as you do so. If you, take off your, if you take out your bob, you can work on aiming your axe kick at the correct targets. One fun drill is you try brushing Bob's nose with the tips of your toes as you perform a speedy, powerful axe kick. A great use for the axe kick that's very seldom practiced is combination kicks out of an axe kick. So you could do a front kick, round kick, axe kick, an axe kick, front kick, round kick, side kick, a hook kick, side kick, axe kick, uh, an axe kick, round kick, and 360 degrees, followed by a hook kick and then an axe kick. Any of these can be very fun and very useful. If you have access to weight machines, a great drill is to stick your foot inside the loop of one of the pulleys from one of these weight machines. Hold onto one of the bars, hold it as lightly as you can, set the weight to a comfortable weight, uh, increase it as you get good at this, and practice pulling that leg down with resistance. And then bring it back up slowly. This will develop all the muscles and strength and control that you need to throw a really good axe kick. Thank you very much for watching my axe kick tutorial. Please don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And please check out the other videos on my YouTube channel.